I was able to find a cool outfit for my TEDx talk coming up in a couple of days. I got the pants, I got the shirt, I got the belt. Just need some some good shoes. So let's see. It's about nine o'clock at night right now in New York City. Stores are still cranking and banking and whatever. If that's the same. Express actually closed. I was the last one out. But uh, let's see if we can find some shoes. So the whole outfit is complete for my TEDx talk coming up in a couple of days. Um, I got a nice pair of Kenneth Cole shoes over here. I'll show you over here. Nice little classy wear. Still sporty, but classy. You feel me? All right. Um, parents, gray pants, a nice little collar shirt, and a black belt. So the whole outfit is good. Love it. Uh, not that expensive. A little over 200 bucks. That's pretty much it. Um, now it's time to go home. I still want to provide value in this vlog, so I'm going to answer some questions that I got today on Instagram. I'll answer them here. And then tomorrow, in tomorrow's vlog, you're going to see the rehearsal at Farmingdale High School, which is where we're going to hold the TEDx event. We're going to practice the sound system, the intro, outro, uh, our talk, so we can get used to hearing our voice and the speakers. Um, we're going to see the, the speakers room, the green room, all that good stuff. So it should be a good event. And then we have the cocktail party tomorrow as well. So. Let's go home. Okay, so it's about 12.40 in the morning, and I just finished eating some cereal, and I'm about to take a shower now. And like I said earlier, I still want to provide value in this vlog, and I want to share with you a question, or kind of like a, a whole text message or a DM that was sent to me on Instagram from this guy who's like starting out, and he wants to talk about um, his, his marriage, health, how he lost 30 pounds, I think it was, uh, tips, and different things like that. So... I'm really excited about this question because it reminds me of when I started three years ago in my journey. And I, too, was, like, asking different people how to this, how to that. I started Googling things, how to, uh, which is the best thing to do when you're starting out. The best thing the, or the best things that you can do is listen to your intuition, seek counsel, take action are the three best things that you can do. Listen to your intuition, because if you listen to your intuition, hunch, idea, inspiration, motivation, whatever it is, and let's just say it didn't work out. Well, at least you knew. At least you found out. As opposed to you had an intuition, motivation, and you never did anything on that, and then you, you're 85 years old, and you regret that because you never tried it. So now you're in the state of, I should have, I could have, uh, what if, and you don't want to get like that. You don't want to live life with regret. Um, the second thing is seek counsel. You want to seek counsel because you don't want to pay the dummy tax, right? What's the dummy tax? Learn from other people's failures. Learn from other people's setbacks. Maybe you can learn from someone that has succeeded in that field that you want to succeed in, and it can save you three years. So seek counsel. Seek counsel in whatever field, to become a doctor, a police officer, to build an incredible interview show like I want to, be, to become a best-selling author like I want to, a baseball player. A nurse, it doesn't matter what that field is, a professor, find other people that are succeeding in that field that you want to succeed in and learn from them and then apply it on your journey. And then the third thing is to take immediate action. You want to take immediate action because if you wait for Monday, so today is Friday, right? It, let's say I'm going to start the gym on Monday. Well, that same motivation is probably not going to be there, right? So you want to start right away. So if you have that motivation, inspiration, start right away. When you're going on a journey, when it involves, when you're not in a position like I am, right? This this is something I, I'm very happy I realized. You're not the you're not a Gary Vaynerchuk or a Gary V. You're not a David Meltzer. You're not Will Smith. You're not Jay Cutler. Some of the people I've interviewed, or Patrick Bet David, or Greg S. V. You're not any of these people. You're not a millionaire. You're not a the successful entrepreneur or best-selling author that everybody knows about. What does that mean? I'm, I'm not putting you down or myself down. What that means is the best approach that you can take is of an approach of documenting your journey as opposed to making a post and saying, here's uh, five tips to help you in your marriage. A lot of people are going to be turned off by that, and that's what I mean. If, you have a, if, if you're making a post about how to have a successful business, but you live 
in the basement with your mom and you don't have a business, then I don't think you're the right person to make that, that content. I mean, you can make it. You might fool a person or two, but you're not doing the, the correct thing, I believe. So you need to really look at yourself, become self-aware, and take the angle of like, hey, I, I aspire to be this entrepreneur and sell sneakers. This is what I learned today and this is how I'm going to apply it today or in this sale or in this transaction or in this post. I'm going to go interview this person that knows how to sell sneakers and, and it's big and selling sneakers. They're out there and I'm going to share with you what I've learned. If you take that angle and whatever it is that you want to do, it's much better than telling people this is how you should or this is how to video on something when people know. People can see through that. And I'm so thankful that I did not take that approach very early on. And it's very easy to fall into that because you can fool anybody. You can make a video, get a nice background, get good equipment, invest all this money. But in reality, you're not that person. You're not making the money you're saying. You're not as successful as you're saying. So become self-aware. Be honest. Be transparent. Be authentic. Document your your journey as opposed to creating dumb videos and share that with people. You're going to see how that relates to people. If you check out my Instagram or any post or any My Journey episodes or any interviews that I've done, they're very, they're, they're like in a humble way. They're in a, you can see like, oh, this guy's on the road. That's why I named it, On the Road to Success, because I want to learn from other people and apply it in my life. Uh, I wasn't. I'm not a best-selling author, right? Like I want, like I want to be. I wasn't a TEDx speaker, but in two days I will be a TEDx speaker, right? But I documented my whole journey in becoming a TEDx speaker, in be, and now in becoming a best-selling author, right? I'm not saying this is how you become a best-selling author because I'm not that yet. I never said this is how you become a TEDx speaker because I wasn't that yet. But in a couple of days. I can do that and I can still share with you, hey, this is what I learned, this is what helped me, these are different things you can do, and you can do the same. So, I hope that was a value to you, and that's it, guys. Good night.